the Morial Prophecy Podcast with James Jacob Prash. Blessings of Jesus, dear friends. My name is James Jacob Prash from Morial Ministries and from RTN TV. Thank you so much for joining us on this week in prophecy. Well, what we've essentially done is taken our weekly or bi-weekly This Week in Prophecy video webcasts and renamed and reframed them into a podcast. We've done this for a couple of reasons, one of which is the increasingly unfriendly disposition of social media, much of which or most of which is left-wing leaning, not very friendly to evangelical Christians or to Israel or to any of the things which we hold near and dear. We need to have an alternative platform, an alternative server, which of course is RTN. We are trying to move as much as we can to RTN away from YouTube and away from other social media. Secondly, in the world of apps, we want people to be able to listen to This Week in Prophecy via their cell phones or via other media and not have to sit at a computer screen all the time to do it. Hence, we have switched it from being a video webcast to a podcast available on RTN. You can hyperlink onto it below. It is now a podcast this week in Prophecy, the Prophecy Updates. Be that as it may, this week we're looking at a number of issues, one of which, of course, is the crisis in Great Britain concerning Northern Ireland, concerning the international marketing legislation proposed by Boris Johnson to try to free Britain and extricate it from the pro-Europhile rudiments left by Theresa May that would have left Britain entangled inside of the European Union. But this, of course, has tremendous ramifications for the situation of the Northern Irish peace and the Biden campaign has made it clear it is not in harmony with British efforts to extricate itself wholly from the EU because, as they claim, it might affect relations between Northern and Southern Ireland and help reignite sectarian tensions there. That is one issue this week. The second issue we're looking at this week is the continued violence and Antifa and Black Lives Matter upheavals in the United States and their social, political, but also theological ramifications. We explain, for instance, that the left wing of today is not the left wing of the 1960s or 1950s or 1970s. It is a very different left. For instance, back then, the left sought to challenge the financial establishment and the economic establishment, it sought to challenge, as it were, the rich and make it a class war. Today, the left is funded by people in Silicon Valley, mega billionaires, funded by people like George Soros, funded by the billionaires who owns Atlantic Magazine. Uh, Again, you have the super rich now funding the left. This is the diametric opposite of what the left used to do in opposing the super rich. We are looking at this convergence or convergence of, of, of effects sociologically, theologically, and economically, and looking at how it has diverted and become redefined as something very different than the left as the left has always been known we are coming to understand how it is indeed a fascist movement. Be that as it may, these things are addressed on This Week in Prophecy, along with the big story of the week, that is the Abraham Accords. The potential prophetic significance for something even entitled the Abraham Accords is absolutely colossal. There's too much to be said about this issue, but I hope you will click on the hyperlink below, and listen to This Week in Prophecy on RTN. Thank you so much for listening. Once more, God bless.